so let's add another controller I have so far seven and we're gonna go down to this guy and the only one that's open without a name is that one sometimes it takes a little bit to connect but once I get it connected I'll show you guys what's going on sometimes you need to mess with the Bluetooth settings when you're on Android I think with Apple you shouldn't have that issue Yeah, it's not going to connect. It's going to say error. It's taking way too long. So my guess is that it's going to say error. Okay, so I'm going to pause. Go to Bluetooth. I'm pretty sure it was this one. 84. Let's go back. Back. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, come on. Add a controller. This one. And it's AD84. AD84. Okay. Pair. Now we go to it. <clears throat> That's if it doesn't work the first time. Sometimes it works the first time. Sometimes it needs that extra step. But either way, it should be connecting now. Okay, now it's added here at the bottom. We're just going to go ahead and click on it. We're going to change the name. CL8. So let's go to Programs to Program It. Calendar, if you want it to water every day, you got to go to, down to Interval. Go to start times. I already have a schedule written down over here somewhere. Where did I put it? Here it is. So 8 is going to be 11 p.m. 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. Back it's duration since it's drip, we're gonna go ahead and put 20 minutes. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Now here we go into the little settings in the corner and change that to eight. Validate it. Go back. You can do season adjust. You can do all that. Um, so. Really all you need is this one though, programs, go back, uh, got the controller edited, so now you click save sync or it won't save anything. So we're going to go back, and you can even add these into a little like file for them all to be together in one job site, which I think is nice, and done. So they're all there now, now we can just add a controller and keep going.